Hello everybody, thanks so much for watching. My name is Alexander, I'm a Porsche certified sales professional at Porsche West Palm Beach and thanks so much for the engagement with my YouTube channel. In today's walk around video, we're gonna take a look at this spectacular 2022 Porsche 911 Carrera S Cabriolet. Congratulations to the owner on specking such a fantastic Porsche 911 and thanks so much also for allowing me to do a YouTube walk around on his brand new Porsche 911. So in today's walk around video, we're gonna look at the details on this specific build. Of course, we're gonna start with the exterior, which this specific one has been ordered in the specialty paint called Chuck. Now Chuck does have different names depending on what uh, area of the world you live in. But here for the United States market is called Chuck. In some other countries, we typically go by crayon. The color code is 3H. Beautiful specialty paint has been around now with the Porsche brand for a couple of years and has been a very popular choice within the specialty paint offerings together, for example, also with Carmine Red. Of course, the 992 is the latest generation Porsche 911 introduced here in the US market as a model year 2020. The specific one, as I mentioned in the introduction, is a model year 2022. Looking here at the front, we can see the beautiful design of the new 992. Now, regardless if it's a two-wheel drive or all-wheel drive Carrera model, in this case, a two-wheel drive Carrera S, we use the same width now for the body. We have a much significantly wider front fenders, as you can see here from this angle, and also for the back fenders versus, for example, the 991 Carrera S model in the two-wheel drive specification. LED headlights are now also standard. I've mentioned it many times before. My previous YouTube videos love the way of these LED headlights incorporated within the fenders. It has a different upright position versus a 991, and especially with these white fenders now on the front, looking fantastic. A lot of design inspiration from the um, 930 Turbo, from the air-cooled days, was carried over into the 992 generation 911. Some of those design cues can be seen in the length of the front hood, also the angular lines that Porsche designed here in the front, looking uh, very retro and classic, 1970s, 80s and giving the car a significant, uh, significantly more aggressive and wider stance versus, for example, 991. The 992 generation is now the eighth generation of the iconic Porsche 911 sports car, inception being in 1963, and now, like I said, model year 2020, the first year of the latest generation 911 992 code. Looking at the front, we can see the active intakes for the front place radiators. Now the active flaps were introduced on 991 generation two a couple of years ago, but of course carried over here to the latest generation 911. So these flaps can close and open depending on aerodynamic needs and of course cooling needs. This one was also ordered with the optional surround view camera system. You can see the little camera here in the front in the middle section. And of course this combines the image of the front, the ones in the rear view mirrors and in the back to a full 360 view around the vehicle, which is very pleasant when you're man maneuvering at low speed. The engine is a twin turbo flat six producing 443 horsepower. In this case, connected to the eight speed dual clutch PDK transmission. The 991 generation, the previous generation 911 running a seven speed PDK. And now the latest generation 992 running an eight speed PDK dual clutch. The wheels are the optional Carrera Classic Design wheels. The standard wheel design for a Carrera S is called Carrera S Design, but in this case, the owner decided to change the wheel design and do the optional Carrera Classic Design wheels. 20, 20 inch in the front, 21 inch in the back. Love this wheel design, it's one of my favorites within the 992 lineup. And we can also see that the owner chose to go for the colored crest in the center of the Carrera Classic Design wheel. The brake calipers finished in red, which is a Carrera S standard. If this, for example, would be a Carrera model, the brake calipers, calipers will be finished in black. Also the brake system of the Carrera S, larger in diameter versus the Carrera. We can also see that this one has the optional sport design side skirts. Again, also one of my favorites to add to the exterior of a 911 Carrera model. Love the extra width, extra stands that it gives, especially with how wide the, fen the fenders nowadays are, to add that additional width here on the lower section of the body with the optional sport design side skirts, in this case, painted in exterior color. Getting here to the back, once again, the very wide fenders now on the 992. Love the way this car sits. This one also has the optional sport package, so it has the PASM sport suspension being 10 millimeters lower versus the standard suspension for the uh, 992. It also therefore has the sport chrono package, which we'll cover when we get to the inside, and it also has the optional Porsche sport exhaust system. These items are part of all of the sport package that this specific one has. We can see here the optional sport exhaust system by the shape of the exhaust tips, being these large oval exhaust tips on each side. On the inside of the exhaust system are active flaps to get extra sound from the twin turbo flat six. And the engine tone of the new twin turbo flat six sounds fantastic in my opinion, with a very good tone, for example, also versus the 991 generation versus here in the US marketplace. 
Being a two-wheel drive version of the Carrera S, we can see that the engine slats here on the engine deck are finished in high gloss black. If this would be a four-wheel drive 4S Cabriolet, then these little slats in the middle would be finished in silver. We can also see the new rear wing, significantly larger than the 991 generation, 25% larger to be exact. And that's definitely noticeable with the new front, wide fenders in the back, the beautiful integration of this very wide rear spoiler. And you can imagine, of course, the aerodynamic influence of such a large rear wing. The connecting LED taillights, we saw them, of course, introduced in three-dimensional effect on the 991 generation two on the all-wheel drive versions. But now Porsche in their design philosophy is doing the connecting tail lights on every single 992. Again, that extra whiff, kind of going back to the classic days where we had a reflector in the middle between the tail lights. And of course, this all lights up when the lights are on, going all the way across. Love that design. And again, also that three dimensional effect, how it flows from the rear spoiler into the back bumper, looking fantastic. In this case, by the way, the sport exhaust system finished in silver. We also do a high gloss black version, but I love what the owner did here with the silver finish, blending beautiful with the Porsche letters in the tail light, with the model designation, and also the silver finish on the outside spokes of the Carrera Classic Design wheels. Okay, time to take a look on the inside. Well, we see that this one was ordered with a beautiful black Bordeaux red interior. We do two versions of the Bordeaux red interior. We do an all red, where also the top side of the dashboard is finished in red, and also the top side of the door panels. In this case, the deviation between black and red, and again, that black element I think looks great against the other black elements around the vehicle on the outside, the engine deck, the tires, of course, being uh, black, looking fantastic. These are the optional 14-way power sport seats. Uh, the 992 has a completely new design seat versus 991. Love this new seat in terms of comfort level, side support. We can also see that he added the Porsche crest embossed in the headrests on both sides and also the Porsche crest on the center armrest. Now these are Porsche exclusive manufacture options. Love, uh, love how that looks, especially on the headrest, one of my personal favorites. This one also ordered, as you can see, once again, with chalk seat belts, matching beautiful, of course, with the exterior color. Once again, a Porsche exclusive manufacture option. The wheel is the optional GT steering wheel. You can see it by the little bolts around the steering wheel design, looking aggressive and sporty. Of course, shifting pedals behind it for the eight-speed dual-clutch PDK. And as I mentioned earlier, this one has the Sport Chrono package as it was ordered with the optional uh, Sport package. The Sport Chrono has been updated to have a white fascia, as you can see. Again, a Porsche exclusive manufacture option. And the same white was also chosen here for the instrument dial in the middle. Again, a Porsche exclusive manufacture option. The inlay was also upgraded, so in this case we have real brushed aluminum going across the dashboard all the way to the other side. The aluminum also integrated here within the door panel, looking fantastic. When you touch it, you have that cold metal feel. Very industrial look, looking fantastic also against the side sill. 911 Carrera S here on the side. Really nice combination of colors, materials, and design features. It also has the Porsche exclusive manufacture gear selector. So this is the aluminum version gear selector for the eight-speed PDK. A small detail, but it does make a difference on the inside. Love how that came out. And this one also has the optional 930 turbo interior package. And you don't see that too often on the Carrera model, so very creative by the owner doing so. Love how it came out. So if you look, look at the classic 930 turbo and you open the door panel, you look at the seats, you have this specific stitching in the door panels going across. So that is the 930 interior package for a Carrera model. And also here, if we look at the seats, we have that same pattern here going across in the middle section. Once again, that is part of the 930 interior package. Again, classic design inspiration on the modern day 911. Love how Porsche designed that. The top side of the dashboard, as you can see, finished in black leather against that Bordeaux red stitching, both on the door panels as the dashboard, as you can see. Yeah, beautiful specification. Love the chalk with Bordeaux red combination. Car came out fantastic. Once again, congratulations to the owner on specking such a fantastic Porsche 911. He's definitely gonna enjoy this beautiful, beautiful car. Thank you so much for sharing the Porsche passion. Please contact me directly if you have any questions. Let's do a final walk around on this beautiful 2022 911 Carrera S Cabriolet. Thanks so much for joining me on this walk around video. Please share the Porsche passion by subscribing to my YouTube channel. Hit that like button, feel free to comment down below and I'll see you guys on the next walk around video. Please be safe out there and I'll see you next time. Thank you, bye bye.